Ooh. I can't complain you. Yeah? Mm. Because he was asking me to help him out with the rest of the bank. And I was like, yeah, this is huge. Okay, I'll do that. But property finance is okay where it is. Okay, cool, no problem. Okay, cool. I'll move it out quickly now. No props. Cool. <laughs> Just one stuff moved. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's do it quickly. Hi guys, today I'm doing a day in the life of a senior financial business analyst. What do you do? What do I normally do on a daily basis? What I'm asked to do, simple, very, very simple. I'm just gonna come here and, you know, create new rules for, hey, come on, open up. You know, like I said, I'm letting uh, Power BI to do most of the thinking for for me. So there's something called share services view The only thing else that competitive advantage over a lot of people is because I know A bit more about the business now the business that I'm analyzing So that's the only thing else that makes me an asset um, Besides that, I mean you you I mean, you can't really you know do do much um so when they call and they say can we get this thing here can we get that thing here uh it becomes easy for me to do it because i know how the business is set up and i'm able to do it quite quickly so um so i was called right now to just if i could be able to move a few things so that they get categorized differently so that's what i'm trying to do here The call that I got, I could not solve using Power BI. Comes, okay, let me publish that. Comes this guy that everybody likes. Um, this guy over here. Ah, there you go. He's gonna fire up. I know, I know, I know, don't, don't kill me. Why am I still using SQL Server 2014 at this age? Don't kill me, I have no idea. It works. So what must I do? If it works, it does work. This is one of those rare times where I'm being asked to, you know, do data manipulation. And then I'll be doing data manipulation would, you know, want me to, to write a script. I think one of my scripts is down here and the programmability. It's a start, start procedure. So I think you call it a start proc. IT people's got IT names. So I'm just going to alter it because it's a small thing. If you haven't seen what SQL looks like, it looks like gibberish. But I think in order for you to um, make SQL make sense is to put the green things, um, put the nodes, so that because sometimes you you don't you don't remember what does your what did you write so putting comments and notes and grouping them together makes it easier for you to go find you know where what's wrong with your script i'm still at the same corner i was at the beginning of of this video we still Crunching classifications is during forecast time, and um, yeah, it's the 18 after one, it's 18 after the one, 
and then I had to get well Alrado got something whoever thought that working from home would mean you're gonna be cooking all the time but yeah looks like it's a myth you're still gonna be working as you are working in the office so yeah I'm just trying to, to get a few things into this model under pressure there's an ex course session tomorrow morning at 9 I need to get the things into the model into a report uh, as quick as possible so normally what our exec does is he does like one or two slides and then he uses the power bi to take everybody else through it so whatever i do here is quite that's why it's quite vital so that by tomorrow when they go for exco at nine o'clock in the morning it can be perfect but and and at two o'clock i need to go pick up the kids so it is it is really rough you know you barely get time to breathe um all you do you just get stuck in this office for i don't know for as long as you could but yeah it's almost um 15 30 it's almost to the end of the day but me being me i just got a black coffee not the dj but i think they call it americano i have my water just picked up the kids we are still finalizing the numbers for tomorrow <laughs> yeah exciting to be an analyst we just got in a mail to say the numbers have changed a little bit so i'm just gonna you know have to run this because i think there's a two million difference between the numbers and them after running this I'm just gonna, uh, that's not gonna work out. Let me stop that. That red one is not gonna, it's not gonna work out. It's gonna block the process. Why did it do that? Oh no. It's trying to open it up this side. That's why. Uh. Okay. Um. Okay, let's try again. There you go. Let's go to the home page. Let's see. Yeah, now that looks nice. That looks nice. Very, very nice. Long story short, we, we had to change, you know, how we um, recognize IBM cost matrix, like the mainframe cost, mainframe software, split the mainframe application from the mainframe hardware, and split the mainframe um, ELA, you know, setting rules few rules that I had to put in my analysis so that when he spits out the other side he can take the same cost but now split it uh, differently which is quite exciting.